Alright, hey, 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 it is Mick here. So, welcome to one of the final episodes where we're gonna actually still build stuff in the Haze Omega Solar Project, Solar Garage Project, okay? Uh, so, I was supposed to go out and DoorDash and do some work on the Super Cub, make some money to pay some of the stuff, some of the stuff that I've been making here, <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. And, uh, and I didn't, uh, I went out and I got no deliveries, man. I got these, uh, okay, so what we got going on is, uh, Battery is almost fully charged, okay? We're, we're almost, we're, I'm pretty sure it's top balanced already, all right? The, the, the voltage is, mm, it's just going up there really fast now. It's just like, for like almost two weeks, it really didn't move at all. And then suddenly, like the last, like just yesterday, the, I, I start to see the voltage climb up very, you know, faster than it has in the last two weeks. <laughs> That's what I want to say, okay? So... So the so the battery bank is almost ready to be constructed. Is what I'm gonna say. I'm pretty sure it's it's top balanced already, but I'll let it charge all the way, and then we'll do a uh, capacity some kind of capacity test. I don't think we're gonna do like a real good one, but we'll we'll see what the batteries. You know, we'll we'll try to see how much we can pull pull out of those batteries since we've been charging it. <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. I won't hook it up to the solar panels yet. Okay. Um. So so what we got going on today? All right. Is uh we gotta go. Besides the constructing the battery, whenever that gets done, it's it's at 3.58 volts, and when it gets to 3.6 volts, it's fully charged. So I'd imagine maybe in like an hour or two, it's gonna be done. So, so like yeah, let's let's get on this. I don't wanna I don't wanna go online until I get the grounding done too. So I wanna make sure everything is good before we hook the battery up. So let's we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> so today we're gonna go run the ground from the house's ground rod or wherever the house gets its ground from. I don't I don't see a rod in there, but <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff hooked up to a ground there. And we'll go take a look at that. And I gotta go run that to the box over here and the solar panels, okay? So so we gotta go back up on the roof and do the solar panel stuff. I think I miss, I, I may need a, another clamp too. So I may have to go do a Home Depot run. Um, that's what I'm gonna say. Cause I, I need another clamp for the Thing. But I, you know what? I might have one lying around. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so that, that's what we got going on. Um, let me sh let me show you what I got. So this is it. This is the last box of components to install. All right. So right here we got the. These are the uh, grounding dealies for the uh, for the whole. You know what we got to to ground equipment. Okay. These are for the solar panels. It basically it bites onto the solar panel frame, and then you you connect the ground uh, wire to it. Okay. And then I got one of these for a pipe, okay? So you're supposed to put it around the pipe or a conduit and then you ground it, okay? Um, it's very important that you use stuff approved for grounding stuff because it may, you know, it may corrode stuff is what I'm gonna say. That, that's what I've learned, okay? <laughs> so you gotta use official grounding stuff. I do have a grounding rod. I got this from the army, by the way. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just took it home and then I just never brought it back, but it's, it's, a, it's for a ground rod. We might use it for the, uh, if we have to put a bunch of cables together, we might use this. I'm not sure, man, but this, this is actually for a ground rod to connect a, a wire to, okay? Um, I've got the important part. I've got this 50-foot bare copper wire, okay? I got this for like 30-something dollars. I had to go to a specific Home Depot in, uh, in, in San Jose to get this, okay? Uh, it's cheaper than buying it by the foot because I think by the foot it's like a dollar a foot and it would be, be like 50 bucks. So this is almost half the price of buying that. So, And they only had it at one Home Depot in San Jose is what I want to say, okay? And then I got a, I got a handy box, okay? A small handy box. We're going to mount this. We're going to drill a hole into the wall and run the ground into the garage. And then, well, we got we got to cover the hole somehow, so we're gonna use the handy box, okay? There's, there's just gonna be this this wire coming out of it, so I don't really need a big one, so I've got a small one for this. Okay, and I got one of these connectors here. I think it's gonna come out of the side or the top. We'll figure it out when we get there, okay? This is uh, one of my last connectors. I think I only have one more left. <laughs> this is a, a 3 8 connector. Okay, so we're gonna use that. And then I got a, a wall plate cover, okay? To cover up the box, and it's a blank one, all right? Because uh, we're just going to use one of these knockouts in the connector to run the wire out, okay? Um, it's just basically just to hide it, you know? <laughs> so I think that's how they do things, right? You, if you want to cover a hole, you just put one of these handy boxes and put a cover on it. <laughs> okay, so those are all the components I got. I may need to get another one of these these pipe clamps because I think we're going to have to go... We're going to have to ground the inside pipe uh, conduit 
and then and then we got to go ground the outside too so i i don't i don't know i just want to make sure I, I get a good ground all right i don't i may be over i may be over grounding it if there's if there's such a thing i may be over grounding it but i think it's, it's okay now we got 50 foot of this and i know 50 feet will have just a little bit extra if we go to the other side we're going to be using the uh we're going to be using the we're, the the the, op, the outlet we ran on that side because that's where the ground is we're going to follow that we're going to use those straps i'm just going to zip tie this to that that the mc conduit okay um it should be easy no there's nothing to strap if, and if i did i would just use staples okay i would just staple it to the wall <laughs> that's, what, that's what i was planning to do okay i do have some eight gauge wire i bought the wrong wire and then i used some of it to to make a bus bar okay but uh um I don't know what we're gonna do with this. I'm. I, I, you're supposed to use six gauge wire, okay? That's what they said. You're supposed to use six gauge. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this. Save it for another project, Merlin. <laughs> that or we can double it up, okay? Um, yeah, we can use. We can just twist it together and then ground it on it. <laughs> so, well, so we'll see. Well, if we if we need extra wire, that's what I might use this for, okay? Uh, uh, but as much as possible this is going to stay inside okay so we got to use this up inside the inside the house first inside the garage and then and then we start grounding the solar panels i, I really don't want to go back up there but it's going to be pretty much the last time we go up there so so yeah and then then i can clean up the little room that i used to go in and out of the, the roof okay but uh yeah all right so that's it uh let's go let's go get this let's go get her done <laughs> All right, he's making here. I am excited. This is the fa final thing to do. All right, so here's the plan. Um, there's supposedly like a ground rod. Maybe this is the ground rod right here. I don't know. There's some kind of conduit going underground right here. Um, but we we discovered that there is a ground in here. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. I think we think this is the ground for the house because we don't see any other ground around here. Okay, and it looks like it goes into the concrete somewhere. All right, so let's go open it up and we'll find out what's, uh, we think, I think, you know, we, let me go measure, let me go measure that. Okay, I have to say, uh, I don't know how far this is gonna be from, uh, I don't know where it's gonna come out on the other end is what I'm gonna say, okay? So let's go find out. Um, so the little, this little TV box thing is about 20, 20 inches, okay, from, from the end, the edge of the wall here. So kind of like, kind of like right here. So it looks like it's gonna come out behind the freaking toolbox. So guess what, guys? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to move this monster toolbox. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I moved this toolbox. <sighs> okay, whatever. Um, well, you know what? We don't have to move it all the way. I will just move it just enough so we can do the thing. Okay. All right. So yeah, it definitely looks like it's gonna come out right around there. Okay, like the, pretty literally in the middle of the toolbox freaking a man <laughs> okay yeah so so the idea is it's going to come out wherever that that is on the other side and then we're going to drill a hole we're going to put a handy box there to cover it and then uh and then run the ground wire parallel to the this uh mc cable here okay and then we'll just follow it we'll just zip tie it follow it along all the way here okay and then we're going to go uh what are we going to do yeah, so what we can do is we can go, we can just follow this. So let's just follow this all the way and then we're gonna go underneath here, okay? And then I'm gonna run the uh, the ground the ground wire all the way here, okay? And then, uh, and then it's gonna be, and then we're gonna run it through the box, okay? See the box with the PV wire coming out of it? Yeah, we're gonna run it through that box uh, with those cables, okay? There looks like there's some, there might be enough space for for one more, <laughs> so I'm gonna say, all right, one more, one more wire. It's gonna be a ground wire, and then we're gonna clamp it to the uh, to the the conduit that's inside the box, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Oof, boy, this is not a lot of room, <laughs> okay? And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna put another uh, clamp over here, ah, or we can try to put one right here. I'm not sure. There's not a whole lot of space, man. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it to the, I'll see if it fits. And then, and then we'll run the ground wire here, okay? And then, and then the rest will go out to the solar panels, okay? So you got, you gotta, gotta have a, uh, a ground, okay? It's, especially if somebody's gonna inspect your work, it's gonna be, it's gotta be grounded, so that's what I wanna say. 
All right, so yeah, that's the plan. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's go open this box and see what we're... I've already seen what's in here, but it's been kind of a minute since I've seen it. There's this screw here holding this plate in. It's kind of bit, it's kind of crooked too. Okay. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of uh, wires coming out here. Okay, these look like this looks like a Cat Five right here, and it's not going anywhere. So I don't know. I don't even know why this is here. That's a good question. Um, and then there's this. There's a copper wire right here. Okay. And then there, you got some coax coming in here. I think there's like a dish up there. Somebody, somebody has a dish in this house, man. It's my dad. Okay, so there's the box right there. Okay, and there's a bunch of stuff here. And then there's a bunch of grounds, all right. Oh, there's already a hole in the wall. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's just drywall back there. Huh, you know what? There's already a hole in the wall. Maybe we can use that hole. <laughs> so I think the important thing is right now is we need to get that thing out of there. So, but there is a there should be like a ground rod here somewhere. It's, there's a ground right here. There's already three things connected to it though. <laughs> yeah. Where are all these going? Oh, I see. Okay, one of these grounds is for, like, the cable, and then, and then there's another one going down there. Oh, yeah, there's another one going through the wall. I think that's the one for the panel, the breaker panel. And then there's a big gray one here that goes out this way. And it goes into this AT&T box here. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna use for our ground. It's that's where all this other crap's grounded. So, <laughs> um, I don't even see four. This isn't even four gauge wire, man. This is like, oh, this is four, this is four gauge. This big one is four gauge. This is for like AT and T. This is an AT and T box. So it's for like you know DSL and stuff. You know. Okay, so yes, yeah, so, uh, I guess we're gonna go run the wire from here and then in through there. Okay. That's the plan. So um, let's go move the toolbox so we can see what's behind there, okay? So it's somewhere behind this monster toolbox. I'm not looking forward to moving it, but it's not too much stuff in the way. All right, here's my go. Okay, guys, so I've uh, I've gotten, uh, I've moved the toolbox. All right, so if you remember correctly, there's a, there's a hole in the wall back there. Well, there literally is a hole in the freaking wall, dude. There it is. Yep. Yeah, they didn't even bother to put a wall plate. There's a wall plate right here, so I might open that and see what's in there, but I'm pretty sure that's the hole. <laughs> that's the hole. That's the hole on the other side of it. I was like, come on, couldn't they have put a, a cover on it or something? That's ghetto, man. Like, ah, damn it. Man. So you can tell somebody cut corners when they were building our house. <laughs> type of thing okay but that's i think that's the hole right there see see where it is two wires see there's a white wire and a and a black wire like a coax and a cat five um let's see what's coming out of there let me get a light okay here we go <laughs> okay a black wire and a white wire yeah yeah it's a black wire and a, that's the one so uh, one i don't have to drill a hole in the wall and two it would be really easy to drill a hole in the wall because literally that is the wall right there, okay? The drywall. So I don't know what this is, but I guess we're not going to touch it. Um, I was, you know what? I could put a handy box over there. Yeah, but I would have to disconnect whatever this is. I would just say, forget it. If if it's hidden, hidden behind the toolbox, then, then it's hidden behind the toolbox. Yeah, yeah. So we can... We can run the we can run the spool here and then run it all the way there. So I don't have to push it through that hole, the whole way. Okay, so so we're gonna push the wire through this. All right, get however much we need out of that. All right, to get it to the other side, and we clamp it down to the the grounds there. Okay, and I, I don't even know where these grounds are going, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Because this is, this is for this, 
and I don't even know where. To, oh, you know what? Uh, this is that wall plate. This is the wall plate. Yeah. Hmm. But there's no ground coming out of there. It's just like a Cat 5. There's two Cat 5s. And a... Oh, oh, this... I don't know. It's Yeah, it's something. It's like a ground wire. Yeah, I hope everything is grounded properly, man. Oh, is there a way you can tell? That's a good question. Um, but anyway, all these grounds are coming off of here. So we'll use this, okay? So I think... There must be a ground coming into this box. But where? Where does it come from? Yeah. Because this, like I said, this is the one for this coax here. I think that's for the cable. Okay, and then this, this looks like it might be for, I'm not sure, this might be for the breaker panel. Because it goes that way. And then this one. Yeah, there's only two. There's only three wires coming out of this. There's a, there's the big one. Yeah, there's a big thick one here. So that must, this must be the ground first. There must be a ground rod somewhere here, okay? This, that's what this is probably connected to. And it's going to this. And then this goes to the cable and this goes to something, something somewhere else, okay? So there's only three things connected to it. Okay, so we're gonna go run that, we're gonna go run that, uh, coax through the hole and then connect it here all right all right let's go okay youtubes there we go all right <laughs> it's funny i was pushing it through the hole and i was like that's weird it kind of got stuck what happened <laughs> and uh and it got stuck on one of the wires man it was pushing it was pushing the black wire out man right here it was it was pressing on this one it's pushing the whole thing okay anyway it's right here so all we got to do is connect it to this. I'm going to say let's not connect it yet, okay? Let's let's do all the connections first and then we'll connect it. Okay. Um, but I think that should be enough wire. That's what I'm going to say. We'll probably yeah, we'll probably connect it like these other ones are. All right. But uh yeah. So we made it. Let's get this out here. Okay. So that's just going to go in there. Um well, the important thing is make sure there's extra wire. Yeah, I would make sure there's extra wire. Okay, that should be good for now. Okay, that should be more than enough there, I hope. Okay, unless we have to do loop it around like this number here. Yeah. yeah no, that should be now, fine. we're going to go run this the rest of the way. All right, we're going to go. We'll go to the box right here, and then we'll go straight up. Okay, all right. Woo, okay, about an hour later, there we go. <laughs> so it's it's coming up like that. Not the prettiest bend in the world there. I could probably fix that a little bit, but it goes up right alongside the outlet here, okay? And then I zip tied it right here, and then it just follows the cable the rest of the way, okay? So I'm kind of, I think I'm at this, this stuff is really hard to work with and it's hard to work with backwards, okay? I wish I could have fished in the other direction, you know? So I didn't, um, what I'm having to do is take out the clamps, okay? I'm taking out the clamps and then putting them back, okay? I'm taking out the clamp and sticking the wire in there and then putting it back, so. But my plan works. Just following it looks good, okay? Well, you can definitely see that there's two wires I'm trying to, hide all these wires you know <laughs> but that looks that's not too bad but yeah this stuff is really hard to work with it doesn't want to you know it's not like stranded wire man it doesn't follow the follow where you want it to go it's it's hard it's harder to work with than this stuff too <laughs> okay so now it's the the long run to the other side of the garage all right so i'm gonna have to close the garage now this is gonna suck it's gonna it's gonna get real hot in here <laughs> um yeah so Looks good. I can take off all this little cardboard stuff now. Oh, this isn't on here very tight. I think this is one of the ones I messed up. But I might be able to just stick it up underneath this then. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, I have to... It has to go underneath the wire, man. <laughs> I can't... Unless, unless it goes over, but right now I got it going underneath, so... Yeah, man, this sucks, dude. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll 
we'll keep at it now when we get to the other side. So yeah, basically it's just going to be this slow process of taking the clamp out, sticking the wire under there. The good thing is I got some, I got this, the garage door stuff can, can hold the wire. See like right now I got the spool holding, holding this. Okay. So, all right. So I think, uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it for the rest of the day, man. I don't think we're going to do anything else. Um, so we got this still hanging out here. Uh, when we get it to the other side, we'll, we'll clamp it up. It'll be all good. All right. So, uh, I don't know. I'd imagine it's probably going to take maybe another two hours or so to get to the other side, man. It's a lot of work, man. So, I think when we get here, when we get here, I don't know what's going to happen when we get here. Um, yeah, I don't even know how I'm supposed to get that wire through those pipes. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to do that, man. Uh, but, so what I'm planning to do is just follow, follow the wire going to the box okay and then I would go man I know it doesn't we can probably we can we'll ground the box okay we'll kick to the ground bar and then and then from the ground bar we'll just we'll go straight to the to this okay there's I think there's plenty of room in the ground I, I thought you know I closed the freaking lid so I thought I thought I was done with that but we're still gonna we're still working with it I, I hope that wire fits in there too I'm not sure if it'll fit uh, oh, well, we'll make it fit if it doesn't fit. <laughs> I'll make it smaller. It's just wire. I'll just grind it down. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the plan was to have it go all the way here first. But if we do, yeah, well, what, what I could do is have it come out where this main wire, the main wire is coming out. Okay. And then maybe I'll, I'll clamp it to the board right here and then, and then run it to the, and then we'll just follow the PV wires. That's right. We'll follow the PV wires, and then we'll clamp it to that outlet right there. So again, um, when we get to about, well, I say when we get to the other side of the garage, I want to start taking all this stuff apart. Okay, but for now, let's just leave it like that. All right, here's me go. Okay, there it is. Before I open the garage, so we can get some more air in here, <laughs> I've managed to run it all the way through. So I kind of got lazy. I kind of, I kind of pull it out here. <laughs> I had to pull it out the other side. That's why you see it. It's kind of like wrapping around that one. So it kind of wraps around this one here. So I, I turned it on the other side. So that way I didn't have to loosen, take out all the clamps. Uh, I just, you know, lazy dude. <laughs> and, and that way I can at least stick the clamp, stick it inside the clamp from the top. Okay. I don't have to go underneath anymore. So, but it looks ugly in this one spot. Cause it's like, it's kind of twisting around the wire. Okay. This, this copper wire is really hard to work with. I, I do not like it. <laughs> it is hard to work with in the MC cable, that's for sure. Okay, it's not, not as behaved. So it's hard to make it look pretty is what I'm gonna say. Um, now I could have probably gone with stranded. I think it would have been okay, you know, the green wire. But there it is. And I got it to the other side, okay. Um, and I managed, so I had to un undo the whole reel, reel okay to get it under those those pipes over okay? here um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add another strap where those pipes are because like it's kind of saggy in the center there okay so so it looked really nice before and now it looks like crap because of this you got this copper wire just going around it okay i managed to keep it pretty tight up there but here it's just it's really hard to keep it tight man yeah that's okay you won't see it when the garage door is open so <laughs> This is what I'm gonna say, okay? Um, all right, and then yeah, and then we're here. So, well, let's get over there. So Hayes Wang is not gonna lie; he debated just putting a ground rod outside. Okay, <laughs> I could have probably just put a ground rod. I don't know if I could get it six feet or eight feet into the ground, though. Okay. Anyway, here's the end of it right here. All right, I haven't cut it yet. Um, so it's gonna go. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the box, and then we're gonna ground the ground bar. All right, and then from the ground bar, we're gonna go to the. Uh, to um to this guy um the conduit and then and then we'll do the outside portion tomorrow because it's like it's dark outside right now okay so i what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm just gonna fish it in or th through here okay uh we'll just loosen this and then i'll run it in there and then we'll run it alongside this and then uh yeah let's open this real quick okay yeah so it's gonna come in through here all right, with all these other three wires, there'll just be another ground coming out. And then uh, and then we'll ground it on the bar here somewhere. <laughs> we 
Oh, we only get like, there's only two open slots. Oh, I know, there's only two open slots. So what, what happens if uh, I got to do uh, like one more? So I got one more for one more circuit and then that's it, you know? You're going to have to put two of them in one of those, I guess. Yeah, there's no there's no more room on that ground bar. I'm going to have to add another ground bar, I guess, if I, if I do if I do have six of these, okay? So that kind of sucks because look at how many neutrals we have. Why do we have so many neutrals and not enough grounds, you know? What's going on here? Okay, uh, anyway, uh, let's, yeah, I'm going to say let's, let's run this through here first, okay, and then we'll tie, I'm going to tidy this up, and then, uh, and then we'll terminate it right here on the bus bar, okay. Oh, yeah, you know what, we still have to have one more going out, too. Eh, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, so then, then we pretty much used up all the grounds. Yeah, we did use up all the grounds. Ooh. All right, YouTubes, I've done it. There it is, man. <laughs> Yep, it's all exposed out in the open, but I got it. So I don't know, maybe I can clean that up a little bit. Yeah, this stuff is really hard to work with, man. I had to take it out twice because I wanted to get it underneath here, okay? Because I was running it along this one, but this one goes to the second one. Um, what I wound up doing is I, I knocked out one of these knockouts here, okay? One of the small ones, and I put a little grommet in it, and I just stuck the wire through there, okay? worked pretty good it's like it's a little bit loose but I, I think it'll be fine it's it's indoors anyway so it's not a big deal um okay so i cut the wire that's how much extra we got so i definitely think we got enough to make it over here so um i think i'm gonna stop here for <laughs> I, oh, i'm good dude um so i gotta go terminate it right right here okay so actually i, I cut way too much <laughs> um yeah there's way too much cable but probably Probably here we'll bend it, okay? All right, and then we'll be and then we'll be done with the. Oh no 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 no! We still got to run the. Yeah, we might as well just run the other one, man. Come on. Okay. Anyway, let's finish this. I'm gonna terminate. I'm gonna terminate this onto the the ground bar, okay? All right. I did add an extra strap over there too. Okay, they work pretty good. It's it looks pretty good. Okay. It is kind of like stick out in some places. I, I don't like it. It looks like doo-doo, but what can I do? All right, let's pick up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is terminated. It actually wasn't too hard. I had to do a lot of manipulation with the pliers, but I got it in there. And apparently, uh, what, is, what is this? Is this a six gauge? Yeah, I think it's a six gauge. A six gauge wire fits in there perfectly. Look at that big wire. Yep, okay. Yeah, look at how much bigger it is compared to the other ones. I think these are what, 12 gauge? And these are, this is a six gauge. I know it's like twice as thick, right? <laughs> literally, right? It's twice as thick, if you think about it. Um, okay, so now we gotta do the next one. All right, so we're gonna go from here, or I can I can knock out another one of these if I wanted to. But. Okay guys, moment of truth. Is this gonna fit in there, man? Oh, dude, that's gonna be... <laughs> that's a really tight fit there, man. I don't know if it's gonna fit, man. Uh, we may not be able to finish this tonight. I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and get a smaller version of this. Um, okay, well, okay, let's try. So I've kind of grinded it, so it kind of fits in there now. Barely. <laughs> it barely fits in there. Okay, don't drop it in there. I think we're gonna have, we're gonna have to do is take that box out first, and then clamp it down, and then put the box back in. So, I think it'll all fit in there, though. All right, let's go for it. All right, guys. Oh my God, I'm so freaking tired right now. Okay, so I had to deform the box quite a bit, man. I I, I kind of pulled it out this way, poop like that. Okay, so if, 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 if this will be on the list of improvements. If Hades Vega was gonna do this again, I would get a bigger box, okay? I get one that's like double the size. They have square size boxes. I would have got one of those, okay? And then just got one of these plates like that. Um, yeah, next time get a bigger box. I didn't think it's gonna be that tight in there, okay? Um, yeah, there's really not a lot of room to work with in there. But hey, look at it. I got it. <laughs> so it is grounded on that pipe on the conduit now, okay? And now we just gotta run this to over there, okay? Uh, wish me luck. Okay, so we'll probably, I'll probably strap it somewhere along the way, maybe, maybe like down here or something behind all these wires. All right, and everything is all insulated, so it doesn't really matter, man. It's, it's, it's the ground, anyways. All right, here's big out. Okay, this thing is really hard to uh, to get back on there, man. But yeah, there it is. 
All right. All right. I wish it didn't have to be so thick, man. This, this, the, the. If it was thinner, it would be easier to work with, man. All right. All right. It's big here. Um, I think I'm done, man. <laughs> All right. Here's the final product. So yeah, we get the wire running from the other side of the garage from the ground back there. I know it would have been a lot easier if we just use a ground rod, man. <laughs> we should just use a ground rod. Um, anyway, yeah, so it goes down here, and then it goes into the box here, all right? And then there's a grommet over there. Okay, and then this goes to the ground bar, okay? And then from the ground, from, and then we got another one coming from the ground bar out through the main connector right here. Okay, it's with the main connector. I, I might have tightened it too much. I don't know. Hopefully, I didn't damage the wires. But so I got it here. There's a connector right here, and then I got another one here. So to keep it away from the the battery cable, I kind of pulled the battery uh, the shunt out a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to relocate it. The, the screw ripped out of the thing, man. Uh, the the screws are just way way too small for this thing. What I might do is uh drill it out, make it bigger. Make the holes bigger on the I don't know, there's really not a lot of room. It's, so that that shunt I'm not a big fan of how small the screws are to hold that thing in, man. It's just too freaking small, man. Uh anyway, uh yeah, so I'm gonna have to fix that later. But I think it's okay for now. It's there's really only one screw holding it in. Um yeah, so I clamped it here and then it goes underneath back here to hide so I can hide it, you know. It's going back under here. It's hidden under behind this board here. All right, and it goes up over here. Okay, and then it uh, there's a clamp right here holding it in here, and then it goes to the clamp for the uh, the conduit. Okay, and then all we need to do is we need to get a. I need to get another one of those those ground clamps, and I need to clamp it to the uh, the conduit body outside. Okay. Uh, so I yeah I have to have to go back to to Lowe's or Home Depot tomorrow to get to get one okay so probably just Lowe's um, so we're gonna have to do one more trip out okay and I used up pretty much all the wire man that's all that's left see that one by my foot <laughs> that's it that's all that's left man that's just that piece so I don't know man I don't know what we're gonna use outside. Uh, I guess we're just gonna. I think I'm gonna go buy more. That's fine. Um, you're not. You're supposed to use six gauge. Okay, this is six gauge. This is so hard to work with, though. Six gauge. Can't believe it, man. It looks like uh, what it looks. What it looks like is like a brake line or something. <laughs> anyway, there we go. It's done. All right. So, so we just need to connect it to the ground outside. All right. Um, and I, I, I will go do that right now. I guess finish it off okay here's that wire so I was gonna just gonna connect it to this guy here okay yeah just oh, spider there spiders coming out at night <laughs> um, I'll probably put it on top of all of these wires I know hopefully it'll be okay okay we'll go do it <laughs> <Let's check out. laughs> all right there she is all connected up all right I think they're all in there good. Should be. Okay. And we just kind of just push it everything in there. Put the cover back on and we're done. Woo. Okay, right. there it is, all buttoned up. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the whole ground in the garage and then uh, I guess the next episode will be grounding the panels outside tomorrow. Okay, but I still need to I need to get another one of those ground connectors, fortunately. Um, okay, so, man, I wonder what it looks like back there. We should probably take a look, huh? <laughs> Watch out. All right, there's the wire coming out. All right, it's kind of loose. That's okay. Everything else is loose. Okay, there <laughs> it is. That's the ground wire back there. It runs up here. Okay, zip tied it to the, the line here. Okay, and then it just runs along here and it goes to the other side of the garage. Okay. And it goes over there. One of them connects to the the ground terminal, okay, the ground bar. It goes into the ground bar and then it goes out 
the another one goes connects to the ground bar and it goes out all the way out to the conduit okay and that, that'll be our equipment and ground also um yeah so all right so so yeah so everything is grounded the the panel is grounded all right everything else that's connected to the ground is grounded um and the the conduit is grounded now okay let's go take a look at the outside first Okay, so that's what it looks like out here. It's pretty tight in there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, there it is, man. It's a lot of work, man. It's it's just about the same amount of work as a thing. So anyway, the whole garage is done. Garage is grounded, um, and then uh, we just need to do the uh, we just need to do the solar panels tomorrow. Okay, and then we'll be done. 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 Hey, right, Hansmaker here. Uh, so it's the end of this episode. I guess the next episode will be grounding the actual panels okay and the conduit outside so so in this episode we did the whole garage and that might it might be two episodes i'm not sure we'll see how much but like i tried not to get some you know real time video it was just kind of like hey i'm gonna do it and then i did it and then then this is what happened <laughs> okay um yeah yeah i kind of ripped that the negative uh terminal out so i'm gonna have to fix that um, one of them is still holding in there pretty good. I think I'm, yeah, I think I might just do that. I might just use a bolt and a nut. So I'll just drill a hole straight through that and then I'll put a bolt in the nut. And then we don't have to worry about ripping it out anymore. Okay, the whole thing will break then. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, man, that copper, that's, I, I, I hate to say it. If I was to do it again, I would use stranded copper wire okay like six gauge stranded okay uh, there's nothing i think there's there's nothing that says that you got to use um solid copper wire okay that stuff is a bitch to work with I, i'm not gonna lie dude um i was not having a good time running that thing and that's what a lot that's what i had heard okay a lot of people like yeah oh yeah i just use I just use the green wire, you know, the stranded green wire. <laughs> um, so that's one thing I could have done to make it easier. Um, that was, it was really hard to work with, man. That solid ground, that solid bare copper wire, man. Ugh. If it was just, it was just, just a, a little bit thinner, it would be easier to work with, but it was, it's so hard to, to try to manipulate that. Yeah, it is no fun, man. Um, okay, so everything went pretty well. I had to kind of deform that that handy box I if I was to do it again I would get a, like the square on the handy box the big one okay I could have used something twice the size okay um, but I I managed I got it to squeeze in there okay it was a real tight fit I had to I had to clamp the ground clamp on there and then put the wire tighten the wire and then put the handy box on so yeah it is it's a lot of work man so so you know I will talk about this at you know when we at the very last AAR. But if I was you know I I said I was gonna this system oh yeah you know if uh if I if I wanted to remove the system it would be easy you know no no it's not because I like I wired the garage like really freaking good man so it is took me a lot of work to get this far so all I'm saying is if I had to undo it and I had to move this somewhere else I I wouldn't want to do it. I would just. You know, if I if we were to just sell this house, I'd say, hey, there you go. You got off-grid power system for your garage. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I don't know if it'll raise the value of the house or lower the value of the house. I'm not sure, man. Depends how good it works, okay? But, you know, it's kind of ghetto. It's got a battery, you know. So, oh, yeah, it would speak so well. So the battery is fully charged. So tomorrow, tomorrow is it, man. Tomorrow is the last of the work, okay? And hopefully it works. Um... Hopefully I didn't mess up any of the wires. Like it was just like one wire after another, and I was just hoping like, yeah, I hope your work. I hope you did good work, man, and I hope you didn't mess anything up. Cause when I when I turn it on, I hope there's not going to be any issues. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so so all that's got to be done is like we got to ground the panels outside. All right, to the the conduit, and then we've got to uh, we've got to ground the the pan the solar panels to the conduit. All right. Uh, so it's got so it's got an equipment ground all right so if lightning strikes it you know there's a place for thing to go you know so your solar panels don't explode okay um and uh and then we have to build the battery tomorrow okay so the battery is fully it fully charged today today okay 
and I will go take that apart and we'll uh, we'll check the voltages okay I think that's that's the last thing I'm gonna do tonight okay so check that video out um, that's the top balancing video um, and it'll be the conclusion of the top balancing video almost two weeks in the making <laughs> they were joking when they said it takes a long time to charge the battery you know all right so so yeah the next episode will will run the ground for the solar panels all right here's what I got